We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to boot into safe mode or other advanced booting options. Uh, just pressing F8 just doesn't seem to work anymore. And uh, what we'll do is go to Control Panel, and from Control Panel we'll go to Troubleshooting. And once we're in Troubleshooting, uh, we're going to go to the Recovery link in the bottom left-hand corner. After that, we can go ahead and uh, click on, if you're experiencing problems with PC, you can do a refresh in PC Settings. It opens up PC Settings, and now we're going to choose the Advanced Startup. Or you could just go to PC Settings and find this, but this was another way to do it. All right, so once this is done, it's going to boot into our Repair Options. So let's go ahead and choose the Troubleshoot, and then Advanced Options. And now that we're in Advanced Options, we're going to go ahead and click on Change Windows Startup Behavior. All right, so once we do this, it's going to give us all these different options, one of them being safe mode. And once it boots back up again, we're going to see a new screen, and that new screen will tell us or give us options as to which way we want to boot into Windows, including just continuing on into regular Windows. All right, so now it has gone to the startup settings, and we'll go ahead and expand that. There we go. And we have lots of different options. Enable debugging, boot logging, low res video, in case you're having video card problems, safe mode, safe mode with networking, which allows you to get out to the internet, safe mode with command prompt, uh, which allows you basically to, the most basic of all types of booting into Windows, disable driver signature enforcement, in case you're having trouble with drivers, Disable early launch anti-malware protection in case uh, your malware program is causing the problem, or if you think it is. You can also disable automatic restart after a failure, which by default it will do. And we'll go ahead and choose F10 for more options, and we have launch recovery environment. So those are all our different uh, options. Press F10 and takes you back to the same screen again. Let's go ahead and see what safe mode looks like. And we'll go ahead and boot into that. It usually takes a couple minutes. We'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, we are now booted into safe mode. You can see the video at the top says safe mode. And it's going to show the help there. And the video, of course, is uh, like 800 by 600 or something, you know, very low res. And from here, all the drivers, of course, are uninstalled that could be causing problems. So if we want, we can go to system and we can go to device manager. And we can start troubleshooting some of our devices. Or going through the event logs, whatever it is that you may need to do. So if we want to go back into normal mode, we'll just click on the power button and restart. It'll take us back into regular Windows.